Today we have to know about the structural component of the coronavirus. Coronaviruses are the largest group of the viruses belonging to the Nidoviridae order which including Coronaviridae, Arteriviridae and Aroniviridae families. The Coronaviridae uh, virinae are further subdivided into four groups Alpha Coronavirus, Beta Coronavirus, Delta Coronavirus and Gamma Coronavirus. Coronaviruses are spherical in shape with a diameter of approximately 125 nanometers having spike-like glycoprotein for the attachment. We know that the viruses are made up of RNA or DNA and protein. The coronaviruses are made up of single-stranded RNA virus having 30 kilobase genome. The coronaviruses are having mainly two types of the proteins depending upon the function of the protein. The first one is classified as the structural protein which help in making the structure of the virus. They are spike proteins represented S which help in the fusion of uh, with the host cell membrane protein uh, represented M embedded into the lipid bilayer membrane of the virus envelope virus represented by E transmembrane protein hemagglutinin in e trace protease represented by H E also embedded into the lipid bilayer nucleocapsid uh, proteins they are attached with the RNA into the virus here in this image we can see all these uh, all these uh, structural proteins in blue we can see the spike protein in orange we can see the membrane protein in light blue we can see the envelope protein small green round structure it's uh, presenting the uh, nucleocapsid protein and uh, a purple long strain that is the rna of the virus the second one is named as a non-structural uh, protein base because uh, they uh, do not make any structure of the virus rather they help in the viral genomic metabolism uh, processing and help in the interaction uh, with the host machinery in order to make new viruses they are nsp1 till nsp16 now we uh, will see in detail about both the structural component or the structural virus and non-structural protein of the virus. The first that is the structural protein. The first one that is S uh, spike protein. It is a surface glycoprotein. It has a mass of 150 kilo delton. Help in the attachment uh, with the host cell. It is uh, it further having two subunits. Here we can uh, see. Uh, in the presentation of the S protein that in the uh, right side of the image we can see uh, the purple round uh, shaped structure that is the S protein which represent on the surface of the protein and it help in the attachment especially uh, with the SCE inhibitor uh, SCE in the enzyme into the lungs uh, especially in case of the coronavirus uh, COVID-19 in this particular image, we can see the two subunits of the uh, spike protein S1 and S2. Now uh, they uh, are assembled and uh, attached uh, with uh, that of the host uh, receptor uh, ACE enzyme, or we can say that angiotensin converting enzyme, uh, which is present into the lungs. There are uh, only two types of the coronaviruses which mainly attach with the ACE uh, receptor that or they are the uh, severe acute respiratory syndrome coronavirus 2 that is COVID-19 and human coronavirus NL63. Another protein that is the membrane protein it is the most abundant structural protein smaller in size and the mass of this protein is approximately 25 to 30 kilo delton it has three transmembrane domains and it help uh, in maintenance of the shape of the virus it also bind with the nucleocapsid and interact with this uh, with the nucleocapsid and this interaction promotes uh, the assembly of the virus when the virus started to exit from the host cell uh, in this particular image, we can see uh, the closely present uh, green uh, structures that are the transmembrane. Uh, they are on the M proteins. Another protein that is the envelope protein. Uh, it is also a small transmembrane uh, glycoprotein found in a small quantity. 
uh, the envelope protein facilitates the assembly and release of the virus from the host cell. In this image, we can see a small protein embedded into the lipid bilayer, and this is what the envelope protein. Now, uh, we will discuss about the non-structural uh, protein of the virus. The non-structural protein they have a very important role. Uh, we can see uh, in detail. NSP1 promote the cellular messenger RNA degradation and block the host cell translation resulting in the blocking innate immunity response so we can say that uh, this protein protect the virus from our body's immunity NSP2 bind to the prohibition protein NSP3 potential transmembrane scaffold protein uh, important uh, activities like ubiquitin like and AC domain it also interact with the N protein of the virus and do and do uh, a lot of our other functions which is support you for the survival of the virus. NSP4 potential transmembrane scaffold protein important uh, for the membrane uh, for the proper uh, structure of the uh, double membrane vesicles. Here uh, I uh, forget to say about the uh, hemagglutinin uh, stress protein. It also embedded into the um, uh, transmembrane. It also a transmembrane protein, and it also very important uh, in two cases, in two perspectives. Number first, it uh, help in the coagulation of the RBCs, and it uh, um, uh, provide the survival uh, for the virus, and it help or it can bring some modifications into the surface uh, protein. Uh, then it uh, it will be easier for the uh, virus to get enter into the human cell here we have some images uh, of the um, the non-structural proteins thank you